For the first time in a long time, Canadian scientists were the ones briefing the Canadian government. Federal, provincial and territorial leaders gathered together in Ottawa with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, where climate change was top of the agenda leading up to the Paris talks in December. What our scientists had to say about the impact global warming will have on our own country was alarming. Canada's rate of warming is about twice the global rate, meaning that the two degrees Celsius increase globally would mean the three to four degrees Celsius change for Canada. So what could double those levels mean for Canada? Well, climate change will be felt differently across the country. Warming is not happening uniformly across the whole country, but temperatures have been increasing at roughly double the global mean rate. The Arctic is warming even faster. According to Environment Canada, we are already beginning to see the changes across the country. Longer growing season, more heat waves and fewer cold spells, thawing, earlier river ice breakups, spring runoffs and budding of the trees, and an increase in precipitation over large parts of Canada. This color-coded map of the country shows temperature trends from 1948 to 2012. Temperature increases range from 3 degrees in Canada's north to around 1 degrees warmer on Canada's east coast. And this is just the beginning of a growing trend. As a result, those warmer summers could mean more forest fires like those experienced in western Canada last summer. Parts of the country could also see more droughts and deadly heat waves. The senior research scientist with Environment Canada also said that the science behind climate change is conclusive. Warming over the 20th century is indisputable and largely due to human activities. Well, the scientists didn't comment on what policy changes the government should adopt, but they did say a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions is needed to stabilize temperatures. A 2 degrees Celsius warming target may be attainable, but we are already 65% of the way to the associated carbon limit, and global emissions must peak before mid-century. Ultimately, greenhouse gas emissions need to become net zero in order to stabilize climate at any temperature. The full science presentation is available to the public on Environment Canada's website.